of the problem is, is the parking situation. The parking situation in the city and what Mayor Daley has done to us because of it um, is really hurting business and at least our business and I think other businesses in this neighborhood where there's not a decent place to park and, and then be able to shop the stores. And related related to that is of course so many things that you can buy online anyway or haven't shipped to your house. You know, you don't have to run out to the hardware store anymore. So when you do, it is for five minutes to get just what you want. I mean the other thing about stores like a hardware store and an audio store is they're kind of nine to five businesses. And I suggest that nowadays a lot of the residents in that neighborhood aren't there nine to five. You know, a lot of those residents in that neighborhood are probably either at college, you know, at university, at school, or, you know, working downtown or, or working somewhere else, you know, going to the loop so, and working somewhere else. So I can understand why, for example, the Walgreens picks up probably a lot of trade between, I don't know, 7.30 and 9 in the morning. I'd have to look at their books, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, a lot of the trade goes in those sort of commuting hours. And so the kind of more traditional 9 to 5 commercial businesses aren't doing as well. Most of the foot traffic, I would say, is drawn east of Sheffield. Um, and there's obviously Clark Street to the east. There's a lot of stores and restaurants and bars as well. So I actually think a lot of your sort of passing foot traffic is drawn east. And if you actually walk along east of the block, it's a really sort of interesting comparison, east of the L station, because a lot of those little boutique stores, uh, boutique-style stores, sort of kitsch stores and so forth, um, do pretty well. Uh, east of the block. I mean, they seem to be a little more secure than the ones west of the block.